Hey guys, we're here to do the second video on this Monday doubleheader. This is a Patrono request from this Patrono right here. Ask us to check out a band called Project a Ages. A Ages? And the name of the song is And the Rest is Mystery. Well, right now everything is a mystery because I have no clue what I'm getting myself into. All I know is this, this that this video, I'm slurring my words, is nine minutes long. If this is bad. It's nine minutes long. That's all. Like, <laughs> Alright, so... Let's hope for the best. Yeah. All right, let's go in with a positive attitude. This is going to be a great, glorious song. It's going to be magnificent. From from today forward, this is going to be one of our favorite bands. Let's just go with that kind of mindset. Yeah. All right? Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's do it.
You want me to go first? Yeah. Before I even talk about the song, just a couple of things. I saw an escalation of headphone game size with every singer that came on. So when the last one came on, when, when I think her name was Leah, I was expecting it to be a fucking helmet. Because they just kept getting, with every singer that got added, the, the headphones got bigger and bigger. So I was expecting her to come in like Princess Leia and just have a fucking huge ass um, headphones. That didn't happen. I was quite For me, disappointed. I was expecting but... like more and more singers to, to show up. I was up. expecting Salo to come I in. I was about to say, Salo just shows up out of nowhere. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't know he was on this. <laughs> He's everywhere. He's everywhere. So I was expecting Salo oh, to come in. Oh, his voice would be so nice on this, too. I think it would fit perfectly as well. But uh, So I just wanted to say that. And I wanted to say that at the end, before we talk about the rest of the song, at the end, I kind of got some Queen vibes there with Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. When, the, when it's, this is the real life. This is fantasy, you know, like that part where all the voices are coming in and all of their faces are like around each other. Yeah. Right? I kind of got some vibes like that at the end of the song. The way the, the the way the sound was fading out and it was just the vocals like superimposing one another there at the end. I kind of got some Queen vibes there. Uh, outside of that, I was a little concerned when the song started uh, in terms of where this is going to go and, yeah, and where we're like, going to get like here. A, like a pop song, like that's what I thought. Yeah, I was. This uh, the acoustic part was going on forever. I was like, "Is this going to be acoustic all the way through?" Yeah, uh, you know, like I, I don't know. I was a little concerned, and then I saw my next door neighbor coming in for vocals first, and I was like, "Wow, I didn't know Ubert was uh, uh, no, Hubert." It doesn't, was it doesn't look like him at all. Well, but you, you get the point. He right? looks like a he. He to, like he gave me for like two seconds when I like took a glance at him. He looked like what now. Um, uh, Tom Hanks looks like what he looks like now. He looked nothing like Tom Hanks. What he has now, like the gray, you know. Uh, not even close. And but the it, forehead it, it, and everything. He looks, he looks a lot more like Hugh Bear. He does not look like Hugh Bear. But then, uh, then anyways. I just This guy, though, he looks like he's a, uh, you know, he's a tax man by day, singer by night. <laughs> Fuck, he can sing. Uh, he can sing. I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know if he can do the taxes or not. That that It's yet to be discovered. But the, the guy can sing. Yeah. He can sing. So this just goes to show you that you cannot judge a book by its cover. Yeah, fuck. If I was watching, if I was walking down the road and I look at him, I do not imagine in a million years he does this. 
I'm going to throw a, a different angle at you. If I'm listening to this song without watching the video, not in a million years do I think the singer the looks like that. Yeah. So I'm just putting it out well, there. One of the singers. Exactly. It just, just goes to show you, you cannot judge a book by its cover. So when you look at me, don't tell me I cannot listen to metalcore because I'm a young kid at heart. Exactly. I'm, I'm a core kid at heart. So, uh, the only difference between you and that guy is that guy, He's uh, his vocal range is, is, is wild. Yeah, I'm... I'm you know, I have other Baby attributes. Steps. I have other attributes. Oh. You know, we cannot all be great singers. We, we still need some cowbell players and all all other stuff, right? The band is not just one guy. Yeah. Uh, unless you're Thomas from Wolfhard. Then technically the band could be just one guy. Yeah. But that's a different story. So anyways, the song started. I was a little bit like, eh, I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly where I'm getting into here. When he started to sing, I was like, you know, it doesn't matter about anything else. His voice is phenomenal. And then with every other voice that got tackled on... Got Things better got better and better. And better. Yeah. Things got better and better. The sound got heavier as well, which I really enjoyed. Uh, and when that happened, I was I was very happy because I'm like, this can't go like this forever. You can't have a song that go like the acoustic forever. Not if it's nine minutes long. Holy crap! This is yeah. a. It would would drawn out like forever. It would seem like even if you add so many vocals, it still would like. You need something else. You need something else. So the song kind of became a little bit more of a progressive power metal track. That's kind of how I'm, I'm taking this song in. It's progressive power metal. So th with every single vocals that got added, the song got bigger. It got better. It got more dynamic. It got more interesting. Uh, the, the, the heaviness or the power, I should say, that got added on top of that acoustic stretch at the opening made the song come to life. And it gave the energy that the track needed to go with the energy that you're getting from the vocals and from the exchange in vocals that it's happening throughout the entire track. And then, and then, you get to the guitar oh, solo. Oh, oh, oh. That guitar solo. That guy, everyone had nice backgrounds, except for the person with the, the, the toucan. He, he was just ripping it. And then when he does that, that when he but when, when he pulls his like, fingers through... Every, ah. Everyone everyone there, they had like a studio and stuff. The guy with the toque, his quality was pretty bad on his end. Ah, he was in somebody's basement. Yeah, he did, yeah. But... Um, Having said that, you know, I agree with you. One the, of the best voices on the track, though. One of the best voices on the track. The quality of the video was shady. Uh, Osama Bin Laden, back in the day, he had better quality in his videos. Definitely. And he was in a, in a cave in Afghanistan, so you definitely need to upgrade. But outside of that, his voice... Was one of the best ones on the track. Yeah, it was and, uh, phenomenal. But I think that guitar player... He should have been singing And at the like end, at the end, you're talking about the track, but at the end, when, when they're closing off the track, and he's doing the, 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 the chorus line, which yeah. is the name of the song... And he's on repeat. Like it, it really showcases his pipes there he, yeah, because he's every so strong and so controlled. It, but the thing is, every time he says it, it's it's getting better and better. Better, as his, even agree. though the song is slowly, slowly ending. Ending, but he's still giving some energy. He's still giving a lot of the energy. But, but going back to the solo, the, the guitar player, and that's what he should be sitting on a throne. He should, he should not sit, the toilet, like a real, throne. like a real throne. All right, just like, making sure because he was making love to that guitar. That is a fact. That is a fact. It was Valentine's Day in that house, and he was making love to that guitar. They skipped the foreplay. They went straight into it. Yep. They went straight into it. There's they no already time had for dinner, foreplay. and they're like... Yeah, they already had dinner, you know what I they mean? They got like, work in the morning, and there's no time for foreplay. I know, and the babysitter's gonna be here in half an hour. Let's get this gun. Let's just get moving. Like, let's, let's, let's bypass all the pleasantries, and let's just get down to the nitty-gritty. You came for this, I'm here for this, just let's fucking go. But he went, and it was absolutely phenomenal. I had a blast watching him play and listening to it. And I'm really glad that the way he filmed it, he filmed it in an angle that you could really see him doing yeah, it. Yeah, you could really see him ah, performing his art. And, and for a solo like that, that's what it. I want. I want to see it. the solo happening. It was phenomenal. The way he was playing, every time he went back... But there was, there was, there was two angles. There was two angles. There was but the there one were... in front, and there was the one closer to the... But there was two different, it looks to me like they were. those were two different videos. It was not like the same, it was not like two different angles from the same performance, if you will. It looked like he recorded himself playing that solo from two different angles, playing it twice, so and, then he, and then he split screen it yeah, so that yeah. you can get two different angles. That's how it felt to me. Or, that's how he, or, because he was wearing an Iron Maiden shirt in one, and he was not wearing it in the other. So that's definitely was two different videos recorded at two different times. But it worked out fine. Yeah. His performance was phenomenal. The, in a track like this, a nine-minute song with four vocalists, you really need a solo that represents the song well. That 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 brings in some energy. It was a minute, or it was, but it uh, felt like it was nearly nearly oh, a minute it, long. It felt like it was a minute long, but not only that, it bled into the rest of that track. I didn't care. It could have been two minutes. It long. could it could have been three minutes long. I wouldn't have cared. I just want to watch him 
you know, someone watch and listen to him his, play. his uh, magic, you know? Yeah, it was absolutely phenomenal. I really enjoyed it. I loved it. And like I said, for a nine-minute song, you need a solo like that. You need that energy because you, you, you want to extend the track, but you don't want to feel like you're overburdening the listener with unnecessary stuff. So a solo like that that was really well played, that brought that, that power metal vibe, but also a progressive vibe into the way he executed perfectly for a song like this. I really enjoyed this track. Yeah. I really enjoyed this track. We, were, right. we were so scared, but fuck, that was... The nine minutes went by so fast. It was beautiful. The nine minutes was... went by so fast, so this was really enjoyable. And Actually, that's the a sign... nine minutes only went by so fast after it got uh, faster. The, 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 the acoustic intro, to me, took a oh, little bit long, it, it, for and me, it was a little it, slow. For me, that's my only dud, is it was too long, because it, it made me think, oh, fuck, if this is the whole song, I'm going to be I'm screwed here. But... Yeah. If it was a little bit shorter and you start giving me the fast stuff, you know, sooner, then in that fast stuff you could also put different things, mm. you know? Because the acoustic part was the... It, it, it didn't have many... Ch other than the vocals coming in and, and you know, mesmerizing you, that was Musically kind of it. was very linear. Yeah, so if you're able to cut that down a little bit and have the fast part of the song, you know... Kick in earlier? Kick in earlier, you're able to add more to the to the song. Throughout that fast yeah, part. I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, as I was listening to it, I was having some major Halloween vibes from this track, though. Yeah. Major Halloween vibes. All right, guys. This is it for today for this double header. Come back tomorrow. Uh, but let us know the thoughts on this project. I mean, it says project. So I'm assuming these are guys from different bands coming Definitely. together, doing something. So uh, hit us up in the comment section. And let us know what you think about this song, about this band. And we'll see you guys tomorrow on another video. Take care. See ya.